Hello everyone, WRG Blackheart here, and today I'm going to review the Star Wars sequel trilogy. Gee. Yeah, this uh, sequel trilogy is, is... Like, the sequel trilogy is the events that happened during the original Star Wars trilogy from the 20th century. Yeah. 32 years later, after Return of the Jedi, they made this a sequel known as the seventh chapter of the Star Wars trilogy, which is Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. In this, the original there's new characters and the, the old heroes. In this story, it's where Luke Skywalker's gone missing, and he banished, banished. And then, Kylo Ren is now considered a so-called Sith Apprentice, because lightsaber duel and force powers. Then, the traitor, FN2187, who is now called Finn, by the name of Poe, Domarin. Then, Rey is the main protagonist, where... She is, she does have force powers, but what, how that is, is unknown. And I hate to spoil this out to you, Star Wars fans, but Kylo Ren killed his only father, Han Solo, on the Starkiller base. I hate to spoil this out to behind the scenes, but Harrison Ford wanted to be Han Solo one last time in the last trilogy of the Star Wars saga. And so, mm, the director said, I mean, the director agreed, J.J. Abrams agreed for Han Solo to get killed near the end of the movie. And that was the last time Han Solo was ever seen. And then, what was funny, Chewbacca was so mad that Han Solo was slain, and so he shot Ren in the chest, and... So, Finn uses the lightsaber to fight him, but failed to completely defeat him, but Rey defeated him. This movie came out in 2015. Yep, spine, in the back, you can see new planets, new droids. And now, Disney owns the Star Wars trilogy which is rated PG-13 for some reason. Next up is the sequel, Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. This is where Rey does her training in, on the planet where Luke Skywalker is while the Resistance is escaping the f diabolical force First Order from Supreme Leader Snoke. Sadly, er when you see Ky a scene where Kylo Ren gets to see Snoke, he sees. He tells him to take his mask off and sees the wound, and, and then has failed. Failed. Failed against a girl who never inhaled a lightsaber. So. Then Kylo Ren broke his mask because he was humiliated by Snoke saying, Unless you're no Vader, you're just a child in the mask. Yeah, there's a few new characters, too. But then, hate to spoil this out, but Ren used his dark side of the Force to cloud to Snoke's mind to slain him in half. Yep, and then when Finn and Rose were captured on the Mega Star Destroyer, here, here, Finn finally gets his chance to take on Captain Phasma. The director of this movie is Ryan Johnson, the reason why he directed this movie is because the st 
Star Wars, I mean the Lucasfilm LTD founder has agreed with his story. Yeah, two, this came out two years after The Force Awakens. And then sadly for Luke Skywalker, he controlled his Force powers too much to fight against the First Order while the Resistance escapes. And sadly, he disappeared, like what Obi-Wan did. And then in the credits, you'll see a memorial oh, reference that says, In memory of our dear Princess Leia, Carrie Fisher. Yeah. Kenny Baker didn't make it either, so replaced by Jimmy V. And Juna Suatoma replaced Peter Maihu because he was having some medical conditions with gigantism. So, yeah. Spine. Back. Yep, Ray PG-13 still. And then finally, the last chapter of the Star Wars sequel trilogy. The Rise of Skywalker. This is where the Resistance since takes on the First Order once and for all, and and then Kylo Ren discovers that the Emperor wasn't dead the whole time. He survived and was remained hidden. And also, he claims Snoke wasn't an actual Sith or a person. He They were meant to think he was Supreme Leader because he was a puppet. A fake of Palpatine's, means Palpatine's puppets. And so then, Ray finds out that her grandfather was the Emperor himself. And so, yeah, this came out in two thousand nineteen. There's a spelling. Back, Ray PG-13 still. This does have a warning sign that says, Some flashing light scenes in this film may affect photosensitive viewers. Yeah. Oh, and also, J.J. Abrams is back in, you know, directing the last movie and the return of one character played by Billy D. Williams. The one and only Lando Calrissian. Sorry, that was my phone ringing. It's no contact. Yeah. That's pretty much it. If you guys are wondering which movie is your... Which Star Wars sequel trilogy movie is your favorite, please comment down below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, WRG Blackheart. Don't forget to smash the like button. If you like this video, or don't, it's up to you. You. I just... Let's just say that these are my mom's. I'm just using them for the review. She got this for herself, and I bought this for her, because this is the sequel. And she got me this for Christmas, but I didn't want it, so I got her the, it anyway. Yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Bye.